Welcome back to the Sports Desk. Now we're joined alongside us for the first time is the Taylor Curette. Welcome to the table, my friend. Thank you, Morgan. Thank you, Johnny. Uh, we're going to send it out to Mitch Ravelay in a minute, but uh, he's out there in Monday night football, football. with the soccer stadium. <laughs> but there's plenty of American football this past weekend. Here's our top three LSU alumni plays of the NFL weekend. Started out with number one. I mean, number three, it should be. Steelers and Browns all tied up, and Sean Sweesham is going to tip a game-winning field goal, and it's good. Steelers win 30 to 27, but wait a minute. Sweesham went to Bowling Green. Take a, take a second look, guys. Brad Wing, number nine, the holder, <laughs> holding the ball for Sweesham. Game-winning field goal. Oy, Some, oy. Someone's got to hold it. One of the best someone's plays of the year right there. One of the best plays. Number two, 49ers, Cowboys, Tony Romo. He threw three picks today. One of them goes to former safety Eric Reed with the pickoff. And Reed, he's going to take it almost all the way back. And uh, I tell you, great, Eric Great block Reed, in there. Yeah, great block by everybody on the play. Looks like they he gave almost, up. He almost took it to the crib. Look at that. <laughs> on the one-yard line. Matthew, Tyron Matthew is his fellow cornerback says uh, LSU DBU and he's he spelled Reed wrong Tyron. <laughs> he, he was using the R before E R I before E rule but it wasn't working number three how about a rookie Alfred Blue pop, block pick it up punt return touchdown he's a rookie and he's doing it on special teams not in the running game this time Alfred Blue we should have wow. interviewed him in Ooh. Houston, huh, Taylor? Yeah. We should have interviewed Texans him. go on to win 17-6. to six. All three of the former Tigers in our, in our top plays helped their respective teams to victory on Sunday. But a current Tiger was ready to celebrate after LSU's win against Sam Houston State on Saturday. Here is our tweet of the day. We're going to push it to Juan, Juan Alexander, Alexander junior linebacker was sporting a very vibrant jacket, but uh, we can't see it right now. It looked like a lot like Shopping flowers. Tablecloth. Tablecloth. Like tablecloth. Like Don Cherry. Just like, yeah. Yeah, Don like Cherry. I, yeah, for those, me, uh, hockey talk. We need I a little bit more talk. color on this show. We got you, two, two, two people with black, and I'm, I'm trying to you're, spice up a little bit. Kayla, your role on this show is going to be to bring the colorful jackets and ties to the set. I'm gonna, because Morgan I'm gonna, and I don't have the style. I'm going to do my best Craig Sager impersonation. Oh, no, speak, <laughs> speak for yourself. I have fantastic style, my friend. Just I go for more of the sleek, streamlined look. You know, debonair, if you, if you want to call Is it Is your that. tie straight today? That's all I need to know. Is my tie straight? We'll see. Well, I'll check it during the commercial <laughs> break. Because uh, coming up after this break, we're actually going to go to Mitch Rabelais. He has a live report out there right before the soccer game. And we'll hear what he has to say.